not every night has to be me chasing spots at the club. Maybe at night when your girls are home, you get a chance to go, hey, let's let's watch let's watch a, like a series together. Let's all get into a series and watch all that series. And we'll watch two episodes a night. Like little changes like that, Joey. That's what I did. We all had to do it. Yeah. We all had to adjust. I started playing the guitar. My man Mike gave me a fucking guitar. <laughs> I've taken five lessons already. I find myself practicing. I started with 10 minutes. Now I'm up to 45 minutes last night. I turned the TV off at night. Once my Terry goes to bed, I turn the TV off. That's it. There's no. I've already seen everything. What yeah. new fucking show? I can't sit there and focus on a new show. I can't even comprehend it. So let me just practice the fucking guitar. I'm up to my second song. I'm playing. I'm learning, you know. So it's like... This was a blessing in disguise. We all needed to get off. We were on a Ferris wheel that we couldn't get off. No, there was no, there was no hopping off. There was no, no there was no. I mean, I, I, I set my tour. I, this is my year went like this. It, we, we did the cabin in, in whatever January, but that, or no, no, we, we shot the cabin in November, didn't we? I don't know. I thought it was. Oh no, January. no, we shot it in January. We January, shot it in January. Yeah. Shot it in January, and I was like, it was like, all right, you shoot your special in November. You're going to work every week in December to write a new hour because you're shooting the cabin in January. You start your tour at the end of January, and then you go from January to June, and then we're going to take a couple months off to maybe do something, and then you're going back on the road. I mean, back it was like, you're right. When you talk about a Ferris wheel, it was, a Ferris and it, was wheel. it was going fast as fuck. Faster than fuck. Faster. And I didn't realize it till after I got off it. Three months, four months, five months. Now we've been off it for a year. Yeah. And you go, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was I living? What the fuck was I doing? And it was all fine. You know, we were great. It was a great fucking time. The store was great. I mean, but. Dude. Like well, it's almost said, like it's almost like we got a little period. You know, yeah. I'm not saying, like, look, things change. Things change and things changed. You know, that period of life I got to live where it was all of us in L.A. We were all starting podcasts. We were all loving doing podcasts, just going in, getting high, getting drunk, talking reckless, just making each other laugh fucking as hard as we could and getting those people that found that because we started it and people found it at the same time. And you'd go in and do fucking the Ice House Chronicles where it was all of us just tag teaming, doing spots and getting fucking wasted, having so much fun and then going to the store and like the lineups just being like, the most insane lineups you've ever seen in your entire life. That's, that is a, that is a slice in comedy. I, I, I hate to say things have changed, but they have. You know, I think it's changed for changed for the better for a lot of things. I think it'll be fun to go down, like me and you were talking about, going down to Austin and getting to experience that world. That's going to be fun. Spending September. a week there. September. I will meet you in Austin. I'm going to do uh, JRE. I think hopefully, hopefully with. Uh, the creator of The Sopranos, David Chase, to promote the movie that comes out September 24th. So that's what I'm hoping. So I'd love to see you down there. I'd love to yeah. see you when you come back from uh, wherever the fuck you're going. And I got. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to be going. I'm going to be. Show. Once everything opens up, I'm going to be traveling a lot and going, go out to New York and spend time in New York. You know, like and go. All right, I want to. I want to see Big J. I want to. I want to spend some time at the in the city doing spots. I want to go out and see you and Terry and Mercy. I want to come. I'm gonna, you know, go out to where all you guys are, have dinner with everyone, like Voss and Florentine and you, and like go do. Like I really want to, because I think you know, or go to Austin and stay there for like. I was telling Joe, I was like, you know, I'm I'm gonna be there for a week every month to do Two Bears One Cave, and I go. I plan on being a regular at, 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 in Austin and, you know, and being a regular in LA and just looking at things and the way that things work now with zoom, you can live wherever the fuck you want. If you want to travel. Want. Yeah. yeah. If you want to travel, you can travel. Bird. I, uh, I miss you. I miss I'm your family. Joey. I miss you so much, man. Uh, I don't know what you're going to do once Tom leaves. That's your other support <laughs> half over there. It's we just me a, and Whitney. <laughs> you and Whitney. We had a and Bert and Bill, you know, and Bill's Bill. not going nowhere, you know. Uh, Sebastian, Sebastian still stayed. Yeah, has anybody talked to him? Yeah, I did. I did. I, I'm, he's doing a podcast. We're doing a podcast in a week. Okay, um, yeah, I just I, did his. I just did one of his shows with him. He's great. He's. I mean, it's a small group that's staying out here, but I think you got. You know, you guys will come out for. 
you know, for at times to shoot stuff and do stuff. And maybe the store is not going to be. This, I'm going to let this blow over. I'm going to fall in love with stand up again. Yeah. And then uh, we'll see each other. But if not, just plan on September in Austin for sure. September in Austin. Let's make it a date. Date. It's done. I love you. I love you, Joey. I'm happy you took the time today to do this because I was just dying to see you. I was telling people that, you know, we talk. That's great. You talk on the phone. You say hello. But to see somebody and to see him a year later and to see how we've progressed and that we're still here and that our podcast is still good and we're trying, it, it's, it's just fucking great, Bert. I miss you. I'm going to miss you when you're away. If you could text me from time to time and just say what's no. happening, motherfucker. I don't think I could. I don't think my text will reach half around the world, but uh, <laughs> just keep me posted. Say hello to everybody and keep loving those girls because I know, I think that's what happened here also. Our house got so much stronger. There were two things that were going to happen for guys like you and me. Either we were going to divorce Leanne and, or Terry or our <laughs> love was going to get stronger. Either yeah. they realized how much of a loser we were when we were around full time because you and I were the type of guys that we're around full time. We're big. You know what I'm saying? There's booze, there's reefer, there's smoke coming out of the fucking rooms. And uh, what's the story on Netflix? They renewing your show? What have you heard? I don't know. I don't know. We got to. Gotta, I'm. I, I'm kind of just playing it by ear. I got so much other shit going on. I'm like, I, I want it. I love working for Netflix, man. That Netflix was the greatest goddamn partner that I've ever had during this that was pandemic. Great, because, that was a great fucking dude, show. Man. A special in the cabin both come out during a pandemic and everyone's got Netflix. I could not thank those group of people enough, enough for the opportunities they've given me. I will do whatever they want to do in the future. I will do it for whatever they want to pay me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> they fucking, I had so many people come up to me and compliment me on the cabin. Oh, dude, so you murdered you. the cabin. Because I you forgot all it. about it. That's how yeah. fucked up. The, the pandemic took me all away from it. Then I saw a trailer for it. And I'm like, fuck, they cut me from the it, fucking... It, from the- it killed. It did. It was like the number one um, unscripted series on Netflix for like a few weeks. Like, uh, it was like n- trending. Num- it was trending. You like when you If you can get trending, that's fucking... That's big numbers. And it, it murdered. It was... I got a call from Netflix right when it right when it's dropped and they were like they were like enjoy your success enjoy your smash hit and i went holy shit now so, i knew what an emu is i never knew what an emu was before that now i know what the that. fuck an we emu did that is. all before cancel culture was big we did everything and oh you were God. telling us don't do it don't do it i don't want to be in this shot <laughs> i just uh my daughter you know she's getting older so She's throwing away. She's getting rid of some toys and in, in yeah. the garage when I pulled in today. You know, I knew I was going to talk to you today, but for some reason I looked at, you know, she's got her Barbie doll houses downstairs, and she goes, I'm going to get rid of them, Dad. And today I looked at them, and I thought about the night Ralphie fell on your doll houses. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't think about that once a week, I'm lying to you, Joey, Doug. I think that about puts- I wish I had video of that. I wish I had do it was doing video on the podcast. Because my favorite was me and you. Ralphie's sitting right there. You're sitting right there. I'm sitting right there. And you're telling me a story. And, and Ralphie falls asleep. Oh, my God. And you don't stop telling the story. You just look at me, raise your eyes, point to him, and go. And you just keep telling your story. And we can hear him going. And he kept saying, player, this vape is too strong. <laughs> he kept hitting the vapor pen. He kept saying, player, this vape is too strong.